everyone, today we're talking about snacks for your kids. Hi guys, it's Renee with New Ways Nutrition and today we're going to go in depth into snacks for your kids or maybe even yourself if you so desire. So snacks are really an important part of your kids nutritional day. It is really not a physiological possibility when kids are young for them to go from meal to meal without having a snack in between. So it's vital that you give them snacks and those snacks should not be what we would think of as your typical junky snack. They should be, think of them as a mini meal. We want them to be somewhat nutritious. We want them to have some staying power so that it will help your kid make it to the next meal. So when we say that, we should be scheduling snacks, we should be feeding them multiple times a day by the time that they are one years old. If you want to know a little bit more in depth about the why, how, when you should be feeding snacks, I've got a blog post that we'll link to below that goes a little bit more in depth into that. On my website I've also got a free fridge printable that we have um, listed all the different options that we're going to talk about today as well as a couple more that you can get on there and print it out, put it on your fridge, and it'll be there for you whenever you're making your snacks. So it's a quick, easy reference to help you out there. So let's get into the what we're gonna do with snacks so that you know how to make them. So snacks really, most people think of them as just carbohydrates, simple snacks. That's not gonna give your kid the staying power that we want. So you need to be thinking about protein or some healthy fats in there as well. When we say protein, we are talking about some of the things that I've got here on this tray. Now, so you know that these trays are things that hopefully you have easy access to, whether you already have them in your house or you can easily get them from the grocery store. That was my idea. Not so much the cute stuff that you can find on Pinterest. There's lots of other places you can get that. This is some really some go-to snacks that you can find. So let's get to our protein tray. Our protein we've got here for you. I've got a hard boiled egg, cheese, Greek yogurt, peanut butter, hummus, kefir, which is just a fermented sour milk and it's got a great source of probiotics. So it's really, really healthy for your kids. If you can get them to drink that, that's excellent. And then last but not least, we've got some milk. Over here on our carbohydrate, veggies, and fruit tray, I've got pretzels, granola, crackers, I've got a cookie, uh, some banana, and toast. I've also got some apricots. They're dried, they're unsulfured, that's why they're that color. There are also some apples, melons, carrots. We've got cherry tomatoes and some sugar peas over here. So lots of different options on both trays, but especially our carbohydrate. Now, let's get to pairing them and figuring out how we're actually gonna make some complete snacks here. So, just for an example, we're gonna start with our hard-boiled egg. So, that can really go with so many different things. I might pair it with some pretzels, that's your carbohydrate. You can pair it with some fruits or vegetables, so some cherry tomatoes, some sugar peas. Let's go with some cherry tomatoes today, just for example. Now when I'm doing these snacks today, there's really no portion size that I'm trying to show. Your portion size is gonna depend on your kid, the time of the day, really lots of different specific things. So don't look at this as a portion, just as ideas of what to feed them. Um, all right, so next let's go with some cheese. So so cheese is a great source of protein and lots of kids are going to love it. So it's a great option really to go with so many different things. They can go with fruits and veggies. I'm going to put it with some crackers today because I love cheese and crackers. That tends to be my favorite. So there we go. That is another complete snack that we've got there. Next we're going to go with some peanut butter. So peanut butter, again, healthy fat. It's got some protein in it. It can go with so many different things. Put it on toast, you can put it with pretzels, you can put it with fruits or vegetables. My favorite is gonna be with a banana or with some apples. So let's do, we've got a Granny Smith apple here today. So let's do that. Let your kids dip away with some apples. So that's our complete snack. Again, protein and fruit. That's gonna keep them satisfied way more than just a piece of fruit would. All right, so let's move on to, we'll do the goodie. We've got a cookie here. I know that this might shock some of you. There is absolutely nothing wrong with giving your kids cookies for snacks. 
what you might want to consider is that just a cookie is only the carbohydrate part. So let's think back to our traditional cookies and milk. The milk is going to provide the protein. So by giving them cookies and milk, you're really giving them a snack that's going to have some staying power and will help them make it to the next meal. If your kid doesn't drink milk, there are lots of other options. You can give them yogurt, you can give them peanut butter, hummus, whatever it is, but just make sure that you're focusing on giving them the carbohydrate of the cookie as well as some protein to help it stick around for a little bit longer. All right, so those are some ideas of snacks. Really, anything goes from a snack perspective, whatever your kids like. And let's be honest, a lot of kids like some really weird combinations. So don't be afraid to test some things with them, but just keep in mind that you really want that protein and fat. I can't stress that enough. That's really what's gonna keep that snack staying around and keep them off your back from getting you to give them some more food. So that's our snacks today. Make sure that you go back to my website, check out the blog post. We've got the in-depth information there about how and when and why you should be feeding them snacks. We've also got that free fridge printable that I was talking about at the beginning of the video that lists all the different options I've talked about here today so you don't have to remember these. And we've got some other ones on there too. Um, and it's then easily accessible when you're making your snacks in real time. So check those out and I hope you learned something today. Have a good day.